Well, it would appear that it looks like BlockFi might be filing for bankruptcy soon. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. I'll have a link to this article from watcher.guru in the description. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. This article is titled, BlockFi is getting ready for potential bankruptcy, says report. The cryptocurrency neighborhood went through a string of unfortunate incidents throughout the week. The collapse of the FTX empire kept people in the cryptocurrency realm in disbelief. Several employees and outside investors reasoned to have lost their life savings while users' money was still trapped on the platform. The fall of FTX also affected the cryptocurrency lending platform BlockFi. Amidst all the chaos, BlockFi halted the withdrawals on their platform. The New Jersey-based exchange informed the users on November 11th that it would be, quote, limiting platform activity. BlockFi recently stated in a letter shared on Twitter that it was, quote, shocked and dismayed by the failure of FTX and Alameda. In one of the most recent reports by the Wall Street Journal, BlockFi is preparing for potential bankruptcy after the collapse of Sam Bankman Freed's exchange. Reports reveal that BlockFi had significant exposure to FTX. As per the details from people familiar with the matter, the cryptocurrency lender is preparing for a potential bankruptcy. Details reveal that it had significant exposure to Bankman Freed's FTX. The cryptocurrency lender is also planning to lay off some of its employees as it gets ready to file a possible Chapter 11. It should be acknowledged that FTX purchased BlockFi in July of this year when the cryptocurrency lender was experiencing severe financial difficulties. The platform was exposed to the failure of Three, Arrow, uh, Three Arrows Capital to the tune of $80 million, despite the failure of FTX. The company initially declared itself to be, quote, fully functional. However, the situation seems to be different now, as the lender has seemingly been greatly affected by the fall of FTX. It also joins the list of affected firms associated with the fall of the FTX empire. So... Yeah, guys, it is not looking good here for BlockFi, for the holders that are on BlockFi itself. And we are waiting to find out official confirmations of if they are filing for bankruptcy or not. But as it is stated here, it is looking very probable at this point in time. And what I think is absolutely bizarre is think of it like this. If after everything is said and done, if users are not able to get their cryptocurrency off of BlockFi, think about how absurd that is people that have the credit cards. So people have a debt with the credit card from BlockFi, but then if they wanted to pay off that debt, because it's being forced on them, I've received a notification myself, I use BlockFi, that you still have to pay that. Another company may end up picking up that credit card based system, but any debt that you have, you'd have to pay essentially towards someone else. But if you have crypto on BlockFi, that is your money, right? So what if you wanted to use that money to help pay off that debt that you got because you got that card through the same service provider, but now you can't do so because it's like, well, we're going to take away this amount of money from you because of our poor mismanaged assignment of how we adjusted our funds or allocated our funds I should rather say so sorry right like now you got more debt and on top of it too the funds that you could have potentially used to pay that off that's also gone so you just got to figure out where else the money is going to come from you got to pay off your debt but we don't have to pay off our debt to you right you can see how this could be very frustrating for a lot of people. Now, also keep in mind that it's still not necessarily enough because some people could have been using the card and then had a substantially more amount of cryptocurrency existing on BlockFi. And then imagine that counterbalance, right? If you could access your crypto, but you're forced to have to pay out the rest of your debt, okay, you still had to pay off your debt. But let's say you don't get access to your crypto and then they just go ahead and wipe off any of the debt that you had on the card. 
you know, let's say it's $2,000, but you had $100,000 worth of crypto that was on there. Doesn't exactly equate to the same thing, right? It's like, oh, I know you don't get your $100,000 back, but the $2,000 debt, yeah, don't worry about that. It'd be better than what we're looking at right now, because again, right now, it's like, oh, your $100,000 that you had. I'm not saying that I had $100,000 there. So let's say, oh, you had $100,000 in crypto there. Yeah, you don't get to access that. You're not going to get that money back. Oh, plus you have $2,000 in debt. Yep, you still got to pay that. That's what it's looking like at the moment. We got to see how things continue to develop. It's a little bit early to jump to full conclusions on this stuff. But as is being mentioned here, it's looking pretty probable that they're going the route of bankruptcy. However, things can be handled through that bankruptcy process. Same thing, waiting to find out. Hopefully, hopefully, best case scenario, people are able to get their refunds off of their crypto that's from the exchange. Um, or I guess best case scenario is that they find a financial backing solution and uh, everything kind of goes back to the way that it was. And then the people that don't feel comfortable with BlockFi anymore, there's enough liquidity that's there. They can take it out if they want to. Anybody that wants to stay in, maybe they spaced out. They didn't see or hear any of this stuff that was going on. It's kind of like, oh, a little blip in the system, and they're just totally fine. We'll have to wait and see. Let us know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Do you think that they're going to go bankrupt? Do you think that people are going to be able to get access back to their crypto? Do you think that they're going to try and make some sort of an adjustment uh, with the credit debt off the card? Tell us what you guys think in the comments below. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please go do your own research. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out. Thank you to WeLoveSafeMan.com, Victor Vegas, Safe and Oz for being higher level patrons. Also, thank you to my YouTube members for your support. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button. God bless. And we will see you in the next episode. Like cryptocurrencies, your DNA is made up of data. And with Self Decode, you can discover more about your personal health. Self Decode can help you improve your mood, optimize your health, balance your gut, improve heart health, reduce stress, reduce inflammation, optimize your cognition, and improve brain health. Their process is very easy. Simply register at the website, read the instruction manual and collect your DNA sample, place the sample into the specimen bag, put the entire box in the return envelope, mail the return envelope back to them, and then wait six to eight weeks for your results. Their website is easy to use, easy to understand, and as someone personally who sits down a lot throughout the course of the day, having resources that are more geared specifically to me that I can optimize my health, oh, it's a huge game changer. You invest into other things and there's no greater investment than yourself. So get started with Self Decode. Check out the link in the description.